DOJ, Department of Justice. Let's talk about it. You have to know about it. I have to know about it. We all have to know about it. It was recently reported. Department of Justice announced that it arrested three individuals from California, Massachusetts, uh, two, I believe, from Massachusetts, for running Asian men, a very high-class prostitution ring. Now, let's not play games here. It is sex trafficking, and it was described in the press release as Asian women. And the men were directed to a couple of different websites where they could view pictures, uh, stats about the women. Some were described as 85 pounds. Now, I don't know. It sounds like a child to me, 85 pounds. But here's the curious uh, story behind all of this. You know, we've been through Jeffrey Epstein. We want names. We want the client list. Why is that important? That is important because after all these years, it's been several years now, the Epstein case, we have not been provided with the client list. And those people involved were complicit in human trafficking, specifically sex trafficking, labor trafficking, getting perhaps women against their will, teenage girls to do manual labor in Jeffrey Epstein's house, whatever they were doing, giving massages. This is all a form of human trafficking, sex trafficking. Now, let's fast forward to this ring, which the story broke, and I have to say media covered it for about a day, and then it went away. There are no new updates. There's no anything that I can find out yet about all of this. We demand at the Warriors the client list. Why, after all, the Department of Justice said, these are military men, lawyers, a lot of names you would know, their words, not mine. And we can't reveal the client list because we're getting some of these men to cooperate with us in this case, and we can't blow their covers. But I ask you, what about the women and perhaps minors involved in all of this? What about, you know, taking care of them? I want to hear more about this. I want the client list. If the DOJ can put out there, well, these are people you'll know, names you'll recognize, any any kind of government job, military involved. And apparently, it just goes away like everything else. So you may not think this matters, but we are going into 2024 more than ever. And an election year, we must stick together. We must uh, push and demand appropriately from our elected officials. We have to take everything out of our toolkits right now. It matters to contact as constituents. Go to house.gov, senate.gov, find out who represents you and say, I demand to know who is involved, this client list. Because the focus is always put on the investigation, which goes nowhere usually in these, these subjects. We hear about the clients, but never on the victims, never on the what's going on with them. What happened to them? Where are they? Are they are they arrested? Are they in safe houses? Are they? I don't know. And if I can't find out, so we've got all that going on. So let's come together. We have to keep these issues out in the front. We have to talk about them. I'm going to be digging deeper. I'm going to be finding out. I'm going to be sharing with you, but I need your help. I cannot do this alone. You can't sit on the sidelines. We have our families. We have our children. We have everything on the line right now. Join me, lindswarriors.org. Sign up for the newsletter. It's on the website, lindswarriors.org. Scroll down on the right side, e-newsletter. Let's find out what's going on. Let's keep asking about Jeffrey Epstein and that client list. Why, after all, I think we know it as taxpayers, we, we, we are owed explanations because I'm getting really tired and sick of this. And I know you are too. Join me. Community creates change each and every day. Be a warrior.